Hello there, my viewers. It's your good old friend here, Team Rai Rai. Just to let everyone know that I am going solo on this matter to give you, my viewers, the W 2017 Hell in a Cell review. And it took place last night in Detroit, Michigan, in the Little Caesars Arena, okay? Home of the Detroit Pistons, I'm thinking, or the Detroit Red Wings, or is it they share the same stadium. I think it's a for the hockey team. I can't recall, but um, it was eight matches total, so that is a lot for Hell in a Cell. Now I did not watch the pre-show last night because I could care less about the pre-show. And probably you want to get my thoughts on the matter. Let me give you a quick rundown, okay? Um, Chad Gable and Benjamin won. So that is pretty awesome. They beat the Hype Brothers. I really thought the Hype Brothers are going to split up, okay? But probably it's going to happen out of nowhere. Get it? Out of nowhere. I know that's a very, very corny joke. Um... I love Benjamin. I love Chad Gable. Do you think eventually they'll be SmackDown Tag Team Champions? Maybe. Maybe not. I saw one of the highlights on YouTube that Gable did an awesome moonsaw. So that is awesome. But that's all I saw. Because I was watching um, other stuff on TV. You know, NFL. You know, NFL Sunday. So I was watching that. And all that good stuff. So and playing video games and doing other stuff around the house. So I'm glad Benjamin and Gable won first time. They're a tag team on pay pay per view. So the first match to kick off Hell in a Cell. It's a Hell in a Cell match, and it's for the SmackDown Tag Team Champions in the Hell in a Cell match. The New Day versus the Usos. Now I really love this feud. This is like the hottest uh, feud on SmackDown, in my opinion. Okay, SmackDown Live. You know, they use kennel sticks. They use uh, kennel sticks to trap one of the Usos. I love it. It's awesome, okay? Unique, and eventually they broke out of it on great spots. One of, one of the moments when Big E went, almost went through the um, handle stick. Hell in a Cell Cage. I, I wish he did, but I guess they really don't want to go in that direction. Look like he really hurt his head, but it's all about entertainment. But I guaranteed he has a major headache this morning or whatever. He'll be on Raw regardless tonight. Um, well, Kofi was not part of this thing, thank God. So it was a even playing field about freaking time. I don't like when the New Day is like a 3 and 2. And I don't know why they put Kofi and Big E into the mix. It's not really a fair advantage with the other tag, team champ tag teams on SmackDown Live. But that's just how I feel about it. But whatever. Um, it is cool that they did this one great spot. I don't know. They must time it. And of course they practice. When Big E... And um, Zero Woods, Zero Woods on the ground, he did like a, he get the knees right up on the, on the, at the exact time, one of the Uso brothers, and he really injured him, and I know it's all part of the show, but I really, really enjoy it, and overall, Usos are now five time, five time SmackDown Tag Team Champions, so hopefully this feud is over, most likely it won't be, because the New Day wants um, a rematch so they won't top that from last night hell no maybe they will maybe they won't um, they use handcuffs on uh, Zero Woods they beat the crap out of them with the um, kindle sticks I love it the whole match is great you know the crowd got into it it was not boring at all great opener thank you WWE thank you now the next match I don't know if this is in order but I'm gonna go along with it uh, Randy Orton versus Russo. This is a little better than the last time they met. 
on um, SummerSlam, and then, and then um, when Russo got his revenge on Smack Alive, but overall, Randy Orton won. Does he really need a win in his late career? No, he does not. But say about what they doing to Russo. Um, next match is the WWE United States Championship match. Now the original plan at the time was um, AJ Styles versus Barry and Corbin. Then on the pre-show, Ty and Dillinger talked to um, Dan or Brian and says I beat Barry and Corbin, so I deserve to face um, AJ Styles for the Uni uh, United States Championship. Sorry, I kind of bossed, messed up there, but. He's facing Barry and Corbin, so Dan Bryan says, fine, you win to this match. It'd be a triple threat match for the U.S. belt. It was a very good match, high face, high pace match. Barry and won, Corbin, about darn time he won it. Uh, um, um, a belt, but it's not the major belt, but whatever. But most likely, AJ will go after um, Barry and Corbin for his U.S. belt because he never lost the pinfall. I love this match, so hopefully uh, Ty and Joe Dillinger will go after the U.S. belt down road. You never know. Okay, so there's I love this match. Okay, next match, this one I did not care for that much. Shara Flair versus Natalya. I think both ladies were great, okay? But the ending was crap. Um, Natalya was beating Charlotte with a chair. She won by disqualification. So it's a crappy ending. So that means they can continue their feud. So whatever. So um, next match. I did not like this match. The feud is kind of salty. Why is WSQ let the champion win? What am I talking about? Is Jim Mahal versus Sasuke Nakamono for W Championship. And no interference, Jim Mahal won clearly, and once again, he's the champion. So most likely, he's going to probably hold the belt until Savaraj's, or maybe sometime in 2018 at the Rumble. I know, that's a long title run, isn't it? But it sucks what they're doing to Sensuke Nakamono. When is he going to get his opportunity? I guess it's not the time, so whatever. Um, I was not really into this match, and I'm being honest. There's some good spots, not so good match, not so good spots, but I could take it or leave, you know. Sorry about that. I almost knocked my pop can over. Okay, next match: Bobby Roode's Mr. Glorious versus Dolph Ziggler. Now, frankly, this is a pretty decent match. No complaint here. I'm glad that Bobby Roode's won. Now, maybe some people on social media are not very happy that Bobby Rhodes, Bobby Rhodes, ah man, for crying out loud, I mess up his name. They want him to turn heel. It's going to happen eventually, okay? Now, I think Dolph is doing a great job as a heel, but I'm not a big fan of his irritated other W superstars, but that's how he is. He's That's his gimmick, but I guess W has nothing new for him, so they just... Say, so go ahead and make fun of these Hall of Famers and current W superstars. I really wish that Taker came out and choke slam him because he imitate Darren Taker. Maybe it will happen. Down road, please, Darren Taker, please do that to Dolph. Okay, next match. Um, not a next match. This is like a segment. The fashion place was there backstage. It was kind of funny, and they're gonna re uh, open their case, and they're gonna re uh, continue this this Tuesday night live on Smackdown Live. So I don't know how long they're gonna keep doing this. So pretty unique um, uh, segment. Probably a lot of you think it was trash, but whatever. Okay, um, main event time. I'm glad this is the main event. Kevin Owens. For the Shane O'Mac in a hell in a cell. If you watch SmackDown Live this past Tuesday night, um, Shane O'Mac 
added another stipulation. It's a no falls count anywhere. And I love this match. Great. Um, great. Awesome, you know. I'm not going to discuss every point because you guys think I'm um, crazy. Well, I am crazy, but not in that kind of way. Well, never mind. Um, it, it seemed like it was a very fast match. In my opinion, it was better than Taker versus Shane O'Mac because both guys, Taker was older than KO and Shane O'Mac. And this match, it was a better um, fast-paced match. They do more stuff up up under on the Hell in a Cell. I thought the Hell in a Cell, the roof were gonna collapse. Um, KO did a power bomb, and it was awesome. Um, I really thought that KO was gonna fall on Shane O'Mac, but Shane O'Mac got up to the Hell in a Cell, and eventually KO. I mean. Shane O'Mac tossed KO to the announce table. Of course, the Spanish announce table since Survivor Series 95. If you old school fans know that, probably you guys don't know. I didn't know that because I remember that. But sorry, I was yelling. But that's just a little hi history. Look it up on um, W Network. That's the very first time that ever happened in W or F. Um, so, great spots. And I love the match and great. And so listen to this. So um, KO was knocked out consciously. And once again, Shane O'Mac is trying to do the famous elbow drop from the late great Macho Man Randy Savage. Rest in peace, Macho Man. We still miss you. And he misses. But I didn't know when I saw the replay. Um. Uh, uh, who else am I going to say here? Sami Zayn help his former buddy out of harm ways. So what the hell? Sami Zayn. Does that mean we finally get a heel turn from Sami Zayn? Hopefully because his his face run is is going down the toilet ever since he was on Smack Live or overall. So when, that, when he did that um, Sami Zayn helped, yes, helped KO and picked up KO, just scooped him up or lift him up over the top of Shane O'Mac. And the referee says, I mean, I'm trying to think, I'm sorry, you guys could bash me if you want. Um, he told the referee to count to three, he refused it, and I guess uh, Sami Zayn yelled at him and he counted to three, one. Two, three, and KO one before they took the searcher out. And um, a very, very awesome match. And they took the gurney out to the back. And right before the show ended, um, Shane O'Mac got the thumbs up. That means he's okay. He will live. But he's not going to do this for a while. Hopefully, he'll be there and smack alive. Hopefully he don't have a concussion in August. It was a very good match. Great ending. Awesome. So, my guess is KO's heading to Raw. I mean, that was the rumors. Or that could be a false statement. And hopefully, um, we'll see what's going to happen with the Sami Zayn. The heel turn. So, hopefully this is great news. You know, because W was not doing nothing for Sami Zayn. Now, I really love the opening match. It was really awesome. I really got ready to watch it. The women's match, and I could take it or leave it. I don't like when we have a crappy finish. That means they're lazy when they do that kind of stuff. And you know, my viewers, they're going to do that again in the future. You know, I hate that. Man, it's stupid. I hate that. Sorry, I'm complaining, but it is true. If you don't have to pay for ten bucks, if no, if you had to pay like fifty bucks to watch it on preview, I feel sorry for you. But if you only had to pay like nine 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 for W Network for the preview, that it is not bad. Um, Siski Nakamura versus Jim Mahal, I could take it or leave it. 
I know I saw some people, or maybe a lot of people on social media, are very, very bitter. But on the other hand, it makes sense. Eventually, he's going to drop it. Hopefully, maybe to another new contender, or are they going to give Siski Nakamura another shot? So maybe um, Bobby Roode will get into the title picture. Who the hell knows? Or maybe he will go after Dolph Ziggler. The Dolph Ziggler Bobby Roode match was good, but that match, in my eyes, should be on the Smackdown Live or maybe on the pre-show. I don't know. Uh, Kevin Owens, Shane Mac. I'm glad they closed out the show. Um, it seemed like the Hell in a Cell cage itself it was taller than the WrestleMania one in Dallas, Texas. Let me know down below. Um, I think the triple threat match was very awesome. I'm glad they added 10 Dillinger to the mix. I think it would be more fun. Um, yeah, congratulations to you, Barry and Corbin. I'm not a big fan of him, but it sucks to him that Dummy really screwed him out of the opportunity to cash in. I guess he had backstage heat. Then he lost the couple of days after um, the cash in, tried to cash in at SummerSlam to John Cena. Then he had all this heat because they made fun of him because, you know, he failed at money being cash in. So. At least he's United States Champion. Let's see if he defends it good or if he's just going to hold it around his waist or around his uh, sh um, shoulder. If he's going to be like one of those champions. Probably the, he is. It's not his fault. It's the W creators. They don't want to do with these mid Carter's championships. So they're doing a great job, in my opinion, with the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The belts. Um, so... It don't have to have the main event as a champion to close out this show. So, that goes to you, Raw, if you're listening. So, let's see if the TLC can do that to top that. I doubt it, but you never know. So, I really like this. I think the biggest shock and value was Sami Zayn help his old friend, um, KO. And I think Tony Talent mentioned it in the pre-show show predictions now I don't I don't know why I did not realize that before they show the replay and then when I saw the replay that's Sami Zayn so what the hell is he doing there because I guess he he was very upset when um when um Shane O'Mac told him recently on Smack Live and you could tell what's gonna happen so maybe we're gonna have a match between him and Shane O'Mac in the future or maybe they're gonna see a stable be with him and uh, KO you know KO and Sami Zayn that's fine on me. Maybe they will team up and go after the tag team belts. I don't know. But hopefully they don't give KO another shot at the US belt. That'd be stupid in my opinion. Hopefully KO go after the major belt. But if that happens, I mean KO has to turn heel. I mean turn face because Jim Hall is still heel. So we'll find out. The days to come, the weeks to come. So I give this thing no, I'm not going to give it a review because I'm not going to give it a rating because you guys are going to bash a hell, hell out of me. I'll give it a decent peer review. Not the best show, but I really like this L card. Way to go. Um, Smackdown, you did a good job. He has some great segments backstage. Um, the opening card was awesome. I really got to rewatch it again. If you missed this um, show last night, I recommend you to check out the Hell in Cell. Two of them, okay? I'm glad I didn't put three of them because that'd be overkill. Now, maybe there's some people on social media, especially Grim from Grim Toy Show, that he wishes that um, Jim Mohawk versus Suski Nakamono would be Hell in Cell, but probably would be garbage anyway. But I'm glad it was not no interference. So I don't think these two guys have a great chemistry. So, Dolly, please end this feud. And I'm glad I hopefully ended it last night. But I doubt it. Um, that wraps it up. If you were in Detroit, Michigan last night, what was your favorite moment of the match? You prefer uh, how they close out the show? Or you prefer the SmackDown Tag Team match? You know, the Hell in a Cell? I'm, I'm so glad that Usos is now five time five time SmackDown Tag Team Champions. I hopefully it's not a hot potato because the Usos need a new feud. Same thing for New Day. So that's wrapped it up. If this is not the greatest um, re review 
I'm sorry. I tried my best. Great spots. Everyone did a great job. I just didn't didn't watch the pre-show, but I just saw highlights, and that really sums it up. Eight matches total, so very cool. That's awesome that Shane O'Mac and KO went up to the top. I thought it's going to break, like I said earlier, and it didn't. And I love how the announcer says, oh my gosh, they really get into it, but they know the Hell in Steel is very secured, and... And all that good stuff. I really wish it broke, but they don't want to take that kind of chance. That'd be a great moment. And I really thought one of the Usos is going to go through the Hell in a Cell, but they had a lot of secure. Lot, lot of secure. Oh, yeah, one more moment I forgot to mention. When KO trying to lock himself in a cage, he just hold it, the door, and Shane O'Mac just kicked it, the door open, and then KO his face. That was an awesome moment. And that was awesome. So that wraps up. If I miss anything, I'm sorry. Have a good one. And all my social links are down below. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button up there somewhere. Hit that notification. And you know when is my next upload. And you can check out my Blast from My Past very soon. My viewers, very soon. I'll get W2K18. Couple more days. I'm, I cannot wait. Have a good one. And this is the host here. Team Array. Later, everyone. Later.